Oh, wow. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. Eight, yeah. seven, oh, six, wow. five, four, three, two, one. Oh wow. In a massive success for the international scientific community, NASA successfully managed to collide one of its spacecraft into an asteroid. This success was attained on 27 September in early hours of the day. In fact, if you would have done a Google search for double asteroid redirection test, the DART spacecraft would have flied in from the left and would have knocked the results page askew. This was how Google celebrated the mission in its own style. Today, we take a look at what was DART mission and why NASA intentionally hit an asteroid and what it hoped to gain from it. But before that, don't forget to like, share and subscribe to One India. The aim of the mission was very simple, to test an interceptor technology that can protect Earth from any future possible collision. What NASA managed to do was to let one of its spacecraft sent especially for this purpose last year, crash itself against a small asteroid that was orbiting the Sun 11 million kilometers away from Earth. The mission's name was DART, that is Double Asteroid Redirection Test. And the name of the technique we are talking about is Kinetic Impact. This was the world's first planetary defense technology demonstration against any prospective of interplanetary collisions. The term double asteroid here refers to a set of two asteroids, that is Didymos and Dimorphos. The target asteroid, Dimorphos, was actually a moon to a slightly larger asteroid called Didymos. Dimorphos orbited around Didymos and this two-body system go around the Sun. Though there was no threat to Earth from this particular asteroid, and NASA says there is no real danger to Earth from asteroids for the next 100 years at least, but asteroid collisions can happen. The dinosaurs and most other millions of life forms are known to have become extinct following an asteroid collision about several million years ago. Dimorphos was selected for the test because its orbit around Didymos mimics how potentially threatening near-Earth asteroids orbit around the Sun. Asteroids are gravitationally bound to our star, which could put them on a collision course with Earth. But Dimorphos' orbit isn't locked to Earth or the Sun, but rather to Didymos. This makes it a perfect testing ground for NASA. They tried to crash DART into the tiny rock to see how that changes its orbit around its larger companion. Small asteroids keep entering the Earth's atmosphere regularly, but burn out due to friction before they reach the surface. Some of them often drop to the surface but are not large enough to cause any harm. The real danger is from bigger asteroids, the one that destroyed the dinosaurs and was about 10 kilometers in width. According to NASA, an asteroid that big comes towards the Earth only in about 100 to 200 million years. But smaller ones are more frequent. There is a probability that an asteroid of the size of 25 meter would come once every 100 years. And this made it important to test such intercepting technique. The full picture of what the system looks like after the impact will be revealed when a European Space Agency mission four years down the line called HERA will survey Dimorphos' surface and measure its mass, which scientists can currently only guess. We hope you like this new video. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to One India channel and never miss an update.